Hindustan Zinc and Focus Sunil Duggal, CEO of the company, now joins in to talk about the strong performance this quarter. And thank you for being with us, Mr. Duggal. Congratulations, because it has been a stellar quarter. Let's begin with your realizations, because you've hedged off some price volatility. In light of that, what were your average realizations on growth versus what we witnessed in the global markets? So, uh, the Indian growth you are talking, uh, I suppose, and the Indian uh, market is, zinc market is growing uh, around 4 to 5 percent against a global growth of around 2.5 to 3 percent. And the second question uh, I think you asked about hedging. Uh, we have hedged some quantity for quarter four of the current year and quarter one of the next year. Uh, seeing the volatility of the prices, uh, we thought it is worthwhile to take some decision at this point of time. Uh, and uh, we, we have hedged 25% uh, of the annual capacity uh, for these two quarters. And uh, this is hedged at around uh, 3000 around $3,100 plus premium, of course, also we will realize. Uh, for uh, let's talk a bit about cost of production because coal costs is something that continues to hurt uh, your costs. Uh, what are you doing uh, to protect the same? And you also secured 40% via coal linkage. Any plans uh, that you have to further increase that? So you are right. What happened that in the last few quarters, the imported coal cost is going up. And uh, the current coal cost uh, is CIF cost is around $100 uh, compared to a landed cost of $60, $65 for the uh, domestic coal. So uh, last quarter we thought of participating in the coal auction and we have won the coal auction for the next five years to the extent of uh, coal requirement of 40% of our total. Uh, there is another coal auction which is coming up. We also intend to participate in that and secure some coal for that. So with the current difference in price of around $35, uh, we have a plan to contain the fuel cost and the coal cost in the coming quarter. And uh, you're also one of the companies to point out the shortages of coal from Coal India. Is that also one of the factors uh, that seems to be driving your costs higher? No, we, we had small coal linkage in the last two quarters. Uh, we were supposed to get the auction coal in the month of October. But as you know and everybody knows that there is a tightness in the supply of coal uh, in the current months. So the IPP stocks around the country uh, are, have depleted and there are hardly any stocks which are lying at IPPs. So the government has given a preference for the coal supply to these IPPs and the CPPs have slightly suffered. But uh, we have had the dialogue with the uh, uh, Coal India, we have had the dialogue with Rail Ministry and we have also had the dialogue with uh, Coal Ministry. So they, they have assured us to, you know, ease out the supply and we are expecting that the uh, domestic coal supply will resume to CPPs uh, in the current, starting from current months and going forward in the next couple of quarters. So uh, we are confident that uh, the auction coal plan of usage of 40% will be able to realize uh, with, the, with the release of the coal from Coal India. Mr. Dugal, do you expect that global zinc market will continue to remain in a deficit? I think so because uh, we have done some research. Uh, as per my own research, uh, the first time we are seeing that the zinc usage in the as the nutrient in fertilizer is going up and i was reading a report that it is expected that for next year there could be a million ton uh, increase in usage of zinc in the nutrients uh, fertilizer nutrients and we have also seen that the industrial activity in the 
European countries and U.S. is picking up. Uh, the demand of zinc, which used to be flat or sometimes negative for the past few years, the current year, the expectation is that it will grow by around 3%, and in the next two years, it is expected to grow by around 2.5%. Similarly, in China, a new city coming up near Beijing, uh, big infrastructure and other facilities coming up will be responsible for growing the demand. So these are some of the factors, and if we also see mine supply and the usage of zinc and the production from the from the right. right right allow me to come in here um do you stand uh, you know by the capex guidance that you have given for this year and what about your target of 1.2 million ton capacity is that also on track so the capex guidance for the current year uh, will be around 325 million dollars and including uh, sustaining capex the total capex Project capex and sustaining capex will be around 400 million dollars, I would say. And as we have said that the shops of both at Rampura, Gucha, and SK location will get commissioned sometime in quarter three of the next fiscal. It will help us, you know, to take a step jump in our production because the hauling will become more easy and it will facilitate us to ramp up our mine. And we stand by our guidance that we'll be able to touch 1.2 million ton in FY20. All right, let you go on that note. Thanks very much for joining in and giving us a sense of what the quarter has been like and definitely a steady one at that. And uh, analysts also talking about the outlook for near-term zinc prices being firm, largely on account of the deficit. And the management sounds fairly upbeat about the quarter gone by.